Hello my lovelies, welcome to my 31 days of Halloween nail art. This year's entire series is going to be a collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And for today's tutorial we are doing money. <laughs> Katie's video will be linked down below in my description box so be sure to check out her video as well. But in the meantime let's get started on today's design. Using On Vogue's Lacquer in Garnet. Paint two layers of this colour, curing in between each layer. Seal in the colour by applying a no wipe top coat. This too will need a cure in your LED light for a full minute. Using some white acrylic, begin to sculpt out your mummy. Place the first bead representing the mummy's head in the top right hand corner of the nail. Pat and press the bead into shape so it doesn't lose the form you want it to take. Next up, use some scissors and cut out a little piece of nail form into a rectangle shape. Once you've trimmed it to the desired length, Bend it in half to form a U. Make sure it doesn't stick together because we need this cavity to pass through a wire for when we create the mummy's arms. Add a tiny bead of white acrylic directly under the head which we sculpted before. This is going to be the neck of the mummy. Before it dries just press into it that little piece of form which we cut earlier and hold it in place. Further secure it with some more white acrylic making sure you don't close off the holes on either end. This will act as the torso of the mummy. Allow that semi completed torso bead to dry and then move on to creating the legs. Because we're creating this mummy in a walking position we're going to create the, the leg that's behind the one in the foreground so sculpt that out and then once you have it in the shape that you want it to look like it's taking steps then begin adding acrylic in the foreground to represent the leg which is in front of it After completing your legs, move back to the torso. Now the previous acrylic which we had applied it has definitely dried and is holding that piece of nail form in place. Therefore we can go back and add some more white acrylic, building it up so you can't see it and it looks like a part of the mummy. Be sure to wait a couple of minutes for the acrylic to dry before you attempt to pass through the wire in that cavity. Bend the wires to form the arms of the mummy and then move them out of the way so you can add details to the torso and the legs. Using some watered down acrylic paint, paint on lines to represent the mummy wrapping which is found on all mummies. <laughs> Use the same watered down black acrylic paint to fill in the face of the mummy, making sure to black out the eye section so it looks dark and mysterious. mysterious. Then you can continue to add white acrylic onto the little wire arms. Make sure to use a nail form right underneath the wire so it doesn't drip everywhere. And if you have enough confidence you can just apply the acrylic straight onto the wire like I am here making sure to maneuver the acrylic so it doesn't drip everywhere. Once the little arms dry, use the same watered down black acrylic paint to paint on the mummy wrapping around the arms as well. Use white acrylic paint to add some highlights to the mummy wrapping and then when it dries apply a matte top coat and then this nail will be ready for reveal. And here is my completed version of the theme Mummy for Day 3 of our Halloween series. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. <laughs> also don't forget to head over to Katie's channel to watch her creation of the Mummy theme for our Halloween series. I have linked her video down below in the description box so go there and check it out now. So that's it for today's episode. Be sure to join us tomorrow for day 3 and in the meantime Black Kitty recommends you'll enjoy this video next while I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>